Welcome to this video about the Nareda technology. Nareda is the most established aerobic granular sludge technology. It does more with less, treating wastewater to a very high quality, efficiently and sustainably in a very compact space. In this video, we'll show you how the Nareda technology works and why it is an industry leading technology for treating wastewater. Treating wastewater continues to be one of the key challenges of the millennium. Wastewater treatment regulations continue to tighten, focusing on nutrient removal and becoming net neutral. At the same time, populations are growing and relocating, and infrastructure must be built or upgraded to meet often increasing demands. And for plants transitioning to become net neutral or even energy positive facilities, secondary treatment continues to be one of the largest burdens on their energy usage and their emissions. But in the early 2000s, a partnership between Rolhaus Koning DHV, Delft University of Technology, Dutch Water Authorities, and the Dutch Applied Research Foundation, STOA, brought a new upgrade to wastewater treatment to life, Nareda. Nareda was invented at the Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands by Professor Mark van Loostrecht. The driver behind developing Nareda technology was originally the curiosity on how bacteria make different structures, uh, flocks or granules. And once we knew how to convince bacteria to make granules, we also knew that we can make a much more compact and efficient wastewater treatment process. Wastewater treatment is typical something which is needed in large urban areas which have limited space. So making a much more compact uh, treatment system makes the planning and organization of wastewater treatment easier for, say, towns and municipalities. Moreover, of course, as everywhere, saving energy is an important aspect. And if you can make a more compact treatment plant with lower energy intensity, uh, that's a big advantage of the technology. I think the development of the Nareda technologies has been a rather unique way of translating academic research to practice. Initially, we only had a lab reactor with lab media showing that we can make granules by bacteria. At that time, we searched contact with uh, Royal Haskoning DHV and the Dutch Water Boards. A consortium was set up to develop the technology effectively from scratch and we had a parallel lines of the lab research, the scale-up research with pilot plans and full-scale designs, which meant that overall in about 10 years we went from a very simple lab setup to a full-scale commercial implementation of a wastewater technology. For decades, the industry has been dominated by conventional activated sludge technologies. What the Nareda technology does is utilize aerobic granular sludge, which uses the same biological processes, but intensifies this process to create a setting where bacteria are forced to work harder and more efficiently. Conditions in the tank force purifying microorganisms to grow together into dense granules rather than conventional flocks. This process is accomplished without the need for chemicals or carriers. Rather, the optimized control of the process automatically forces the bacteria to produce additional polymeric substance. This then acts as a glue, forcing the bacteria to come together as a granule. The single take process cycle includes three steps, simultaneous fill and discharge, targeted aeration, and fast settling. During the first step, wastewater is introduced along the bottom of the tank. The upward plug flow then discharges the purified water from the previous cycle. These two processes work simultaneously, which saves time, while avoiding unnecessary mechanical equipment like the use of moving decanters to discharge from the tanks. During the targeted aeration step, the aeration settings are optimized to most efficiently purify the water. During this step, the biological conversion processes take place, including biological phosphorus uptake, COD removal, and simultaneous nitrification and denitrification. 
thanks to the size of the granules, aerobic and anoxic conditions coexist within the granule. Because the outer, exposed layer of the granule is aerobic, nitrifying bacteria accumulate. The formed nitrate is then denitrified in the anoxic core of the granules. The final step is settling out the purifying biomass from the treated water. Because the granules are denser than flocks, the settling step is exceptionally fast, taking only a matter of minutes. In the end of the cycle, the tank is ready for a new batch of wastewater. Due to the efficiency of the process, Nureta can have significant savings compared to alternative technologies. Nureta plants are smaller and easier to operate compared to conventional ones. Nureta typically achieves better effluent quality with 30 to 50% less energy, 75% less footprint, and 80 to 100% less chemical use. The technology can be implemented for new projects, upgrades, and retrofits at any scale. The design is flexible to meet immediate project needs of today, and it's scalable to further prepare customers for demands of the future. That will be discussed on Friday. Are the type of thing or not? Are, are you okay? Yeah. Today we have more than 100 Nereda projects across the globe and we have a track record of exceptional performance. The Nereda design has been developed and refined over the past 20 years to make the full advantage of the aerobic granular sludge mechanisms. We have full-scale plants running for more than 15 years and with projects in more than 20 countries across six continents, we receive a wealth of data that allows us to push the technology forward. Nereda is aerobic granular sludge. There is simply no other aerobic granular sludge technology at this scale and with this record of performance. We're at the Ponhill Wastewater Treatment Plant, operated by the Water Board of Limburg in the Netherlands. The plant treats wastewater of over 45,000 inhabitants. Here we see the Nereda technology and the Vertigo model, which is standard for this water board. Nereda and Vertigo are very compatible due to the scalability and flexibility of the design. It's fun to work on a new zuivering. The Nereda installation is compact, everything is close to each other, so the distances are very short. En dat je waar je moet werken of een monster moet nemen, dat je daar snel bent. The Water Board of Limburg and the plant at Pan Hill are also great examples of how we work collaboratively with universities, partners, and customers, even after a plant is constructed and in operation. Working together with WBL is a very easy collaboration. The lines are very short between us and the operators, as well as the other people inside of the organization. Royal Esconing DHV is a leading consultancy engineering company headquartered in the Netherlands. Our company is more than 140 years old and water is one of its core areas. Across the globe, we deliver the Nereda technology either directly to clients or through partnerships. So we work with leading companies to deliver this technology to the market. But of course here you have the Nereda Utrecht plant yeah. with our beautiful six reactors. The Nereda technology is a full-grown technology. There will in the future be some optimization still possible because I think the technology can do even better than it does nowadays. But the Nereda technology can be a very good heart of a water-based circle economy, uh, reuse of the water, reuse of resources in the water, so that wastewater treatment is not only there for protecting human health and environmental health, but also for a resource-efficient society. As the most established aerobic granular sludge technology, Nereda has transformed the way the world treats wastewater biologically. Thank you for watching this video on the Nereda technology. If you're interested in more information on Nereda, visit us online and learn how Nereda can meet your needs today and prepare you for the future.